man, do you talk about getting rained out. It's late tonight, and I'm done. Done mudding this in. I've been trying to prepare my fields, and wow, this is a wet spring. Let's get to it. All right, today we need to purchase some planters because we are way behind. We need to plant our fields here quickly. But first, I want to go see how our uh, Steiger did through the wreck. So we're going to jump in here quickly. Yep, the only thing bad about this long driveway is I have to back all the way down it. Oh, well. Hey, look at this driveway right here. Would you look at that? It connects. Oh, man. Yes, I know it's raining, so I kind of got uh, mudded out. I was trying to prepare all my fields, and I was basically mudding in. I probably went a little bit too late, so I'm trying to spray with some pre-emergence down just so I can be ready as soon as I get them planters through the door. But now it looks like uh, today will just be uh, planter shopping, per se. Oh, oh man, Phillips 66 is closed. No, can't be closed. Where am I gonna get my coffee? Well, that's a bummer. Uh, we'll go over to the garage here quickly. So, we took our tractor to Country Road Equipment Repair here. Looks like they got the trailer unhitched. Not sure they, if that was any problems with that, but still definitely they didn't wash it off. That's for sure. But... Let's see, oh, looks like that Steiger's inside there. Yep, let's see if they got anything done. All right, so I talked to Bob and basically he said that they had to change some hoses, change an actuator here in the steering column, uh, straighten out like the ladder and everything, but otherwise it was basically uh, good to go the way it is. Uh, they definitely probably should wash it, but it only costs us about 20000 which I think is a pretty good deal for that type of uh, collision. So hopefully we'll get this back soon and we can use it for planting. It's unfortunate it's raining today because we only have a few more days to actually get our uh, crops in, so it's getting we're getting behind. I'm going to talk to the co-op. So basically, we need to purchase all of our seed. Uh, I have some contracted prior, but it turns out I didn't buy enough. So I'm going to have to go buy some more. Man, I purchased some seed and now I walk out and it's finally stopped raining. So hopefully this sun can do us some good luck. And uh, the fields might be uh, dry here later on today. So I purchased all the seed I needed, $50,000. Can you believe that? $50,000 and I got a whole bunch of seed. Uh, I guess. Farming is not cheap. You can make a lot of money farming, but the problem is you shell out all that money. Just get your crops and take care of your crops and your equipment. You deal with a lot of money farming, that's for sure. So we get back here. So basically I need to wash off this equipment. So I'm done with this. So I need to get the 84R, 8400R here ready for planting. Uh, so I'm going to wash it off. I'm going to park the cultivator. So you guys probably haven't seen this. I did purchase a cultivator and I have been in the field. I've been trying to cultivate all of our fields that we needed. 
So basically we had to deep till all of our fields and also we had uh, get them ready to plant I needed to cultivate. Uh, I've been using that sprayer too. So basically getting all of our pre-emergence down, our uh, weed, weed killers prior to our planting. So that's all sprayed in. I did purchase a few planters. So they're spoke, I bought them from another dealership and they're supposed to be shipped to this dealership. Uh, the only problem is I had to pay a uh, transportation fee, but I think I got a pretty good deal on both the planners. So I, I also I need to find something to basically transport seed, transport uh, fertilizer. So need to consider buying some type of uh, fertilizer tender seed tender so there's a lot of uh, items you need just to start farming it's just crazy how many items you need just to uh, start your farming we probably should have just transported all of our equipment from Iowa over here just to help us out from not having to spend so much time in front of a computer because it seems like I have been in front of a computer trying to find deals forever. I've either been in a tractor, late nights in a tractor, or as a sprayer, and basically I don't even get to sleep. I get to come home, look at the freaking computer, trying to find deals. I'm in the tractor looking at my phone on the computer. I know that's probably unsafe, but I'm relying on GPS. But I did purchase a few deals. Uh, we're gonna have to wash this off now. Can't have this thing looking dirty, so especially with this uh, pre-emergence spray, you really want to get this washed off. So I try to wash this sprayer off every night uh, last night was obviously raining and uh, cold and basically dark so I I was lazy bad and I didn't get it washed off all right so now that's washed off we'll park the sprayer here quickly and then I'm gonna jump in my uh, load star over there and uh, get to the dealer actually I'm gonna go look for a uh, uh, fertilizer tender there's supposed to be one for sale in town so I'm gonna go look for that here quickly that was on uh, first and then uh, I think they said they'd be ready for the planners pickup at 10 o'clock so I think everything should work out so I called the guy, he said the trailer's available, so we're going to head down there. Look at that. That road connects right there. Isn't that cool? But we're going to head down here, look at this trailer. Hopefully we can purchase it. Also, we need to talk to the bank because uh, we need to borrow some more money for these uh, planters we got to purchase. So do want to buy a drill and a row crop planter at least. At a minimum just because of the land we are farming so I figured probably smart to at least purchase that for now uh, I think I went oh I just went through that stop sign you guys didn't see that did you no good thing good thing you didn't see that oh See that? Stop at a stop sign. I'm a good driver. Oh, I think that's it. I believe that's it anyways. So, got this local business. So they're selling their old uh, trailer. So all it really is is a PJ gooseneck with a chemical uh, tank on it. Uh, it has a pump back here. It also has some seed pallet. So, worked great. 
for basically transport going around uh, taking care of the planter fill this up every day put some more seed on the back here maybe you know it could use a little bit more seed area it'd be nice if you could uh, stack some more seed here or maybe even have like a uh, old seed tender but maybe we'll have to purchase another truck and a seed tender take care of the planters but this will work nicely taken care so I'm pretty interested in this trailer think it works pretty good uh, the only big issue to me I see it looks like it's going to be pretty hitch heavy because all this weight should have probably put the tank further to the back in the pump up front there uh, I would like it balanced more on the back tires because these are big duels as two uh, dual axles right there but the good thing one of the good things is is we do have a dually it is a Dodge and uh, this is a gooseneck which uh, aids in the, the hitch weight allowance that we have here but I'm gonna shut off my truck finally uh, and then I uh, go try to find see where this guy is at see if we can make this deal well, that guy was weird, man. I could not hardly understand him, but pretty sure I bought the trailer for ten thousand. I'm pretty sure, not hundred uh, percent. He was kind of hard to understand. I uh, don't think English was his first language. So, anyways, it's our trailer now. We got the title for it. Uh, monster ramps there so I think it's a pretty good deal but anyways we really needed a trailer and that was fairly cheap or I don't think we got completely token on it all right let's back this up here oh forgot to get my tailgate down get this down here all right, now that's lowered. I can back up. Backing up right here. So I'm. All right, put that in. All right, we're hitched up now. Let's take this. So uh, I'm gonna take this right over to the co-op quickly and purchase some uh, liquid. So that way, uh, if the sun stays out, maybe tomorrow morning, don't know if I'm going to chance it today yet. I'm going to have to get the planters all ready and calibrated anyway, so I don't think I'm going to have time. Oh, I didn't know. They had them like a little park area over here. That's nice. I did hear Austin lights hanging out in that little uh, playground area. I don't know why he would hang out there all the time. It's weird. Alright, so we're going to get some fertilizer, some planter starter here. So we got this thing full of fertilizer. It holds almost, let's say, 2,700 gallons that thing is a tank work out nicely so as long as we could ooh, almost ran into that uh, auger there I gotta be paying attention but as long as we can uh, find some type of seed tender because uh, just put pallets on the back we this will definitely be maybe a couple days worth of uh, fertilizer for us so uh, it'll keep the planter moving. Let's just say that. Oh, speeding in town again. Gotta slow it down. Had my visor down for whatever reason. I don't know why. Alright, so we're gonna leave the truck right here. Now I need to go get into the Lodestar. Jump into that quickly. Alright, so let's start this old truck up just to get it warmed up.
gotta treat these trucks right. And definitely you want the air filled up on it. I just love how clean the insides are in this old thing. It's got nice chrome handles on it. Just a beautiful truck in my mind. So I got the triaxle trailer here. So I think this will work good. You guys will see the planner once we go and get it. But this thing I think is a perfect for that planner, picking up that planner at least, so I think it'll work out alright. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have to take this Peterbilt over there too, pick up the other planner. So we're going to have to make multiple trips to get these planners home. But as I said, we are waiting for the crop moisture to basically the soil moisture to get down far enough we're not to the point where i'm gonna start mudding uh planting in but we're pretty close let's just say that if we don't get started tomorrow i'll probably start mudding all right air's built up so we'll start heading this off over here so uh we're gonna get some more green on the farm I know you guys are probably like, if you got enough green on the farm, that's not true. You can always have more green on the farm, but uh, I, we basically, as as planners go, I think John Deere has everyone beat. I'm not a brand loyal type person, so uh, as a non-brand loyal person, I think John Deere's has everyone else beat and planters. I'm pretty sure in the U.S. they outsell every other planter, but could be wrong on that, but they definitely make a lot of planters that are out in the field for years and years, that's for sure. So, looks like we're going by uh, Grant's place here. Surprised he isn't around. He might be in the field, never know. Yep, he's got all of his tillage equipment out. It looks like he's getting his planter ready, just like we need to do. So I'm sure he's waiting for that, uh, the moist, the soil moisture to be down. Oh, yep, there. That's these are Grant's fields. So it looks like he had he was in a field. So he, he's got that old uh, deep chiseled up right there. So. Got this field. Yeah, he's got this field over here by the dealership, too. Deep chiseled up. Grant's been to work. Alright, so I don't know the best... Oh, yep. I see both of our planters. They're both unloaded there. Let's take a look-see at them here quickly. So we got a John Deere... So this is a 24 row or 60 foot planter here. So a little bit different. It's a little bit older school. This is a 1770, yeah, 1770 I believe I purchased. So pretty good old planter. So it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and all the downforce, uh, the air driven or power driven type planner but it's uh wheel driven planner so it basically it's it's got some of the old technology but it's also a uh, center fill or center box planner so we don't have to fill each of individual row which will cut some time look it has a uh, so this all works by air so basically it uh by suction, it basically sucks all the seeds down to each of the planter. Oh, it does look like this is a uh, air downforce type planter. See the little air bags there on each row? So I didn't even know it had that. That's kind of cool. 42 foot, uh, what is this, a 1990 John Deere here. So and this is a CCS seed metering. So this is also a uh, center fill, but this will help plant that uh, plant our alfalfa, plant our uh, soybeans, plant our what else do we need to plant? Uh, also, 
plant uh, our oats for our horses. So this will help plant all of that, and then we can use this for our corn and soybeans. Don't think I'll plant with the drill with soybeans. I'll just use the row crop. But so I'm gonna have to one. Oh man, I didn't even notice this place wasn't even open. Can you believe that? It is planting season in case I age the York equipment isn't even open at what it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning what is going on here must be a millennial type uh, business here all right so I put the down payment for the planners down so that was a hundred thousand so I still owe them about four hundred thousand for both of these planners so I that is definitely going to cut into the profit margin but let's get this loaded they said they do have an old junk tractor in the back I think behind that building but I'm gonna first lower this ramp all right that ramps lowering down all right let's go try to find this uh, tractor they said we can use no. They said a. What do they have a 4960? These, this is obviously a case dealership because no one would say this is a bad tractor. This thing is a champ. If you didn't know, we had one of these in Iowa. Uh, too bad we got rid of it. So, them 4960s, I mean, everybody wants them things. One of the last of the great tractors, I think. Look at this thing. Starts right up. This thing's a beast. Maybe uh, we can talk bad about it and get a great price for it. Maybe. Never know. So we're going to basically uh, back this planter up on our trailer there. So this is not going to be an easy task, that's for sure. Uh, these planters are so long, so we're definitely going to have to show our skills here. Alright, it's going fairly good so far. A little bit worried about it getting hung up on the trailer there. Turned the wrong way. Uh-oh. Got to lean into one side there. I actually think I got that pretty good for the first try, so I think everything's good on there. I think we'll strap it down. So basically the first planter's done. We'll leave this uh, old John Deere here packed to the park to the side. They're going to have to look at it in their front lot. I mean, when people drive by, all they're going to see is that green 4960, and that's going to bring them in the door. Not all them uh, magnums up front. I'm just joking. The magnums are beautiful. Should have probably turned this trailer around before I uh, came in here, but oh well. All right, so now we need to back this uh, old planter up. Nope, wrong gear. Wrong gear. Looks like the planters kind of lean into the side. We got it strapped down pretty good, so I think we are still good to go. Hope it, anyways. Don't ever do this at home. I'm gonna back up on the highway. Don't want to do that every day. Luckily, there's no one around, so it is a Sunday. That's why the dealership's closed, but thank goodness they came in to help me uh, purchase this planter. Or basically load the planter, but I had to do most of the loading myself. All they came in is basically to take my check, like normal dealerships. Once the money's transferred, you know, they don't really uh, talk to you much after that. They kind of scoop you out the door. Normal. You guys know it. 
Looks like uh, Grant's still getting ready to plant over there. Uh, I know he has a lot of fields he needs to plant, so he's probably anxious to get in the field. So, uh, we'll take this nice and slow. Definitely don't want to lose the planter now. Looking good. Oh, I'm talking about myself. Never mind. That truck and that planter look good together, that's for sure. Even though it's uh, international pulling a John Deere. Alright, so we will get this into our farmyard here quickly. Uh, then I'm gonna go start my uh, Peterbilt and uh, head that down so I go pick up that planter. The dealership, they want to go home, so they asked me to rush it a little bit. I told them I only go at the speed of safe. I don't rush anything, especially uh, driving a fertilizer spreader. Alright, we'll leave that right there. So basically, I just want to... That should be a good spot for us to hook it up. Get our Peterbilt here started and head down to the dealer. Start this up. Wait for our air to build up. This is definitely a better ride than that Lodestar because uh, it's got air ride seats. That really helps, helps out the ride. Uh, we'll check our tires here quickly. Yeah, it looks like I backed up a little bit too far. My mud flap made it through the building. Our uh, driveway here is all full narrow, so it's kind of annoying when you uh, hit oncoming traffic because uh, they uh, just want you to get out of the way, especially if you have equipment. Good thing about uh, doing work on a Sunday is you don't really have to deal with any traffic, that's for sure. There is no one out this morning. It's the best time to go for a little uh, daily drive, that's for sure. And if you could lock your steering wheel, set your cruise control, and take a nice little nap here for a few minutes and uh, not even have any uh, difference. This uh, completely straight as an arrow roadway here. All right. When I uh, pulled up there, the dealership was uh, looking down at their watch, and basically uh, pointing at it like I was late. So they're definitely going to want us to hurry up with this loading of this planter. So I'm sure they want to get home to their families. Kind of unfortunate. I can't even see where the trailer's at. So I have no idea if we're straight on or not. We're just winging it right now. Let's see if this is good. So, looks like I backed up a little bit too far. Pretty straight on, so that looks like it's good. So I'm gonna unhook this, park their old John Deere in the back, so hopefully I can buy, purchase it later. Got the planter loaded up. We are ready to start heading back. Got the flashers on and everything, definitely need it because we are a uh, little wide, so definitely have a, should have a wide sign on the front of this semi, but I uh, figured with not as much traffic out, hopefully the DOT or the, the local sheriffs won't be around for to catch us. Living on the edge right now. The only thing bad about my little driveway here is I should have like made it easier to turn into with a 18 wheeler. Kind of have to turn it just right to get that uh, fit in there. All right, so we are just backing up our uh, PJ trailer here, our fertilizer trailer. Ooh, that didn't feel good right there. Must hit that. 
That's why you put them poles on the side of your uh, door there. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.